What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna be eating vending machine food for 24 hours. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous when it comes to filming this video because I'm thinking like where can I find vending machines? Like I need good vending machines because I'm gonna be eating this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you guys are excited for this video, drop a like, subscribe, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, guys, so first things first, we are going to be having some breakfast. Now, last night, I was thinking, where can I find vending machines? So I went on Google, and I typed vending machines near me, and then it came up, like, vending machine for sale. And I was like, Bro. I don't want to buy the vending machine. Like, I want to buy what's inside the vending machine. So I figured I'll come to the mall. This is the safest place I think maybe they'll I'm have. I'm sure they do. Usually, they have, like, in malls. Yeah, like, hospitals, in the... Mm -hmm. um, uh, laundry outlets. places. Yeah, 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 all that. Yeah, so I figured we'll come to the mall, and we'll drive around until we spot a vending machine i'm not sure what's going to be inside of the vending machine obviously it's not going to be pancakes or egg mcmuffin <laughs> but we're still going to drive around until we find one and then we'll see what they have five minutes later we've been driving for five minutes and i don't see a single vending machine like are vending machines not a thing anymore we've been driving around in around circles here. But I don't see anything. Like Dude, not even I in the see one. Where? I see one right there. Where? The sprinkles. <gasps> the sprinkles. The ATM cupcake. Ooh. Oh my god. We have to go there. All right, guys. So this is the cupcakes ATM. So they have all of these flavors. They have banana, chocolate, dark chocolate, red velvet. They'll have sprinkles and strawberry. I think we should get banana. That sounds really good. Oh, that's my favorite. Do they have a carrot one? We're at Dude, one banana. dollars for one cup. cupcake. It's because you're getting it deliver straight to you so they're charging you a fee a catering fee oh they don't have carrots they don't you should get a chocolate one then oh chocolate marshmallow let's do that one and i think three should be more than enough our total is 15 dollars 15 dollars for three, three cupcakes, cupcakes. i know these better be good uh oh i hear it oh that is so cute so we have our three cupcakes now we have to drive around more and <laughs> Oh, no, that scared me. We have to keep on driving around and we have to find a vending machine that has strength so I can maybe buy like a milk or a soda or a water. Okay, guys, so I was telling Jason, I was like, dude, I think I've seen some vending machines and I was right. They have two vending machines, but I'm low-key kind of sad because none of them have milk and I feel like milk and cupcakes would be such a good combo. So we're just gonna have to settle for a soda. So I think I'm going to get just Dr. Pepper. Dude, I've been craving Dr. I Pepper. Hate so, Dr. Pepper. It's so good. I've been craving it so much lately. Make a selection. Okay, we're gonna do Dr. Pepper. Hopefully it comes out, imagine. It did, it worked. Okay guys, so I have my Dr. Pepper. I can't take it. <laughs> so I have my soda. Now we're gonna go and we're going to eat some cupcakes with the Dr. Pepper. Five minutes later. All right guys, honestly, I feel like for breakfast, we did really good. We have some cupcakes and then we also have our drink. So first things first, we're gonna try the banana cupcake first. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, this looks like a five-star cupcake. Like, yes. literally, it's so perfect. Like a bougie cupcake, huh? All right, let's take a no bite. No wonder it was $5. $5 each. <laughs> Wow, that's cream cheese frosting. The banana bread is so freaking fire. I'm gonna rate this one nine out of 10. Do you wanna give it a try? Cause I know Dude, you is love it banana. Really that good? It's worth the $5, let me just say that. Mm. It's so delicious. Let's try the chocolate marshmallow. This is, oh, this one's tiny compared to the banana one. Look at that. But I think this is marshmallow at the top. Let's see. <laughs> Mmm, -mm. it has Ooh. filling in the center. Dude, I need to try that one. It's Dude, good. It looks so good. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna rate this one 8 out of 10. Just because I'm not like the biggest chocolate fan, but it is pretty good. Last but not least, we're gonna try the sprinkle cupcake. This <laughs> one is literally covered in sprinkles, dude. Look dude, but at it's that. so tiny. Oh, for there's five. like sprinkles everywhere. For five dollars? They what? are very tiny. I feel like I could get this at the grocery store for like $2.50 or something. <laughs> but let's see. That one literally has a thick layer of icing. That one is so sweet. Oh my god. The bread is good, but it has way too much icing. It has like a very thick layer. I'm going to rate that one 6 out of 10. I feel like my favorite one was the banana one. Which one was your favorite one? I think the chocolate one. I just wish we had some type of milk. Yeah, Dr. Pepper is good, but it's like way too sweet with the cupcakes. Yeah, you're definitely right. I feel like milk would have been better. 
Overall, I'm gonna rate my breakfast an eight out of 10. I'll see you guys in a couple hours because trust me, looking for these vending machines have been a mission, let me tell I you. I know where they have them. You know where? Where? A hospital. Yes, and you know what? They have like the vending machines that they have like real food, like Ooh, mac and cheese yes. and sandwiches. So we should go look for a hospital and see if we can go inside in the cafe and we can find some vending machines. All right, guys, they tell me the vending machines are here, and oh my god, jackpot. There's literally everything. I should have came here for breakfast. Look at this milk. We even have some ramen, some breakfast, a burrito. This is just chips and candy. And then look at this one. They have, like, frozen meals because they have um, a microwave here so you can heat it up. And then they have the drinks, more snacks, more drinks, and they even have a gourmet coffee vending machine. You already know I'm going to do some damage here that chicken fettuccine is calling my name so i think i'm gonna get that one so the fettuccine alfredo is 240 hopefully it doesn't get stuck i hate like the vending machines that have the swirl things because then oh it didn't get stuck wait where'd it go oh it's right here i need a drink so i really want to try that strawberry lemonade so let's do d3 Ooh, okay this one's <gasps> didn't no stuck? no uh -oh. is it stuck dude what the oh oh Never mind. Oh, snap. Okay, so we got our drink. Here we go. This one is a bit aggressive. Now I'm going to get something from this vending machine. Comment down below if you have ever seen a vending machine like this because I had never seen one. Oh, you just opened it. Oh. What the heck? That is so cool. All right, y'all. It is lunchtime. I'm debating whether I should start with this sandwich with hot Cheetos or if I should do the fettuccine Alfredo. But you know what? I think we're going to go with the fettuccine Alfredo first because it smells so delicious. I was so shook, guys, when I walked in there and they had so many vending machines. Like, they literally had a vending machine for gourmet coffee. Like, are you kidding me? That's crazy. So this is what the fettuccine Alfredo looks like. It doesn't look the most appetizing, but we're going to give it a try. Mmm. Okay, bitch, this is good. I definitely think that lunch so far is going better than breakfast just because like I have like actual food this time. Mm-hmm. It's nice and creamy. I literally can't stop eating it because it's that good. I'm going to rate this one 11 out of 10. That is how good it is. Then I got the vitamin water, zero sugar. This is the strawberry lemonade. This sounded really good. So we're going to take a sip and let's see how I like it. I probably should have not gotten zero sugar. It has an artificial sweet taste to it. So I'm going to rate this one a 3 out of 10. It tastes a little too healthy for me, but it's still good. Next, I want to try the ham and American cheese on Texas toast. I have my hot Cheetos here with me. Y'all, hot Cheetos are so good. Do you like the original hot Cheetos or the hot Cheetos with lime? Comment down below which ones are your favorite ones. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna add a couple of oh I'm gonna line them up perfectly so whenever I take the first bite I get a good crunch of the hot Cheetos that's what the sandwich looks like let's take a bite mm-hmm it's nice and spicy it has a good crunch to it mm-hmm it's really good but if I had to choose between this one and the fettuccine alfredo can you guess which one I would choose definitely the fettuccine alfredo that one is like a delicious like chef kisses I also got some dessert so we have these caramel these are rice and crisp and these are in the caramel flavor this is what they look like they smell so good mm. these are fire I feel like this is like a healthier snack compared to the hot Cheetos. I'm gonna rate these a 10 out of 10. I would definitely eat these again. Overall, lunch was a success, guys. I'm going to rate everything overall a nine out of 10. I feel like the food was not bad. We found a lot of vending machines. We had a lot of options. So right now I'm gonna sit here. I'm going to finish the rest of my fettuccine Alfredo. Yes, I am. And I'll see you guys in a couple of hours to see if we can find some more vending machines for dinner. <laughs> So I came to a laundry place. I decided to come get a snack before dinner and they have a lot of snacks. So I think I'm gonna get a honey bun and maybe something sweet. So I decided I'm gonna get a Twix. So we're gonna do 66. Yes, we got it. And I'm also going to get the Cheeto jalapeno. So let's do 28. 
And just like that, I got a quick snack so I can eat before I have some dinner. So I decided to get a snack before dinner, guys, because one thing that I'm noticing is that all of these vending machines only have like snacks, chips, nothing has like actual food like the one that we found at the hospital. And I low key regret it now because I feel like I should have stayed in that area so we could have gone back for dinner because I feel like I'm not going to find a lot of stuff. There is a one outlet mall nearby, which I think that's where I'm going to head out and I'm going to go see if they have anything besides like chips and candy in the vending machines for dinner. But in case they don't, then I have my snacks just for backup so I can feel a little bit more full. So I did get the Twix. Dude, I never know what this means. Two left, two right. Like, honestly, I feel like this is just right and then this one's the left one. What? Like, what? I get it. Okay, so there's a thing about Twix. They always ask you like, is this right or is this left? Or do you have two lefts or two rights? Huh? Do you get it? No, I no? <laughs> But I honestly think it's just right and left. Mm. Let me know if you guys prefer Twix or Kit Kat. I'm gonna finish my snack guys and hopefully crossing my fingers that we can find some really good vending machines. I found some vending machines for dinner. They don't have much. I don't know if you guys can see because of the glare. They don't have a lot of stuff, but there is another one over here. Yeah, it's pretty much emptied out. So I see that they have some beef jerky sticks. So that's kind of like real food, like meat, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna grab that one. And then maybe also some nuts. Let's get corn nuts, the ranch. Okay, so we got the beef jerky and we have the corn nuts. I also need a drink, so I think I'm gonna get a Powerade. Should I do red or blue? Mini, 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 mo. Let's do red. I found two more vending machines. This one has ice cream and then this one has dipping dogs fish. So I think I'm gonna get one orange dream bar, of course. They also have the strawberry crunch. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna have to decide between those two and then we're gonna get one of the dipping dogs. I think I'm gonna do banana split because that one sounds really good. There we go. There it is. <clears throat> Got it. I'm also gonna get a Sunday crunch bar strawberry. There we go, we got the strawberry crunch bar. I'm gonna start off with the Gatorade because I'm really thirsty. It's super hot outside. I'm kind of bummed out that the vending machines here didn't have a lot of options. Everything was mostly all sold out. So first I'm gonna try the ice creams because these are going to melt right away. So I got the dipping dots. This is the banana split. If you guys have never had dipping dots, dude, these are like the best thing ever. It has strawberry, banana, and chocolate, as you guys can see. Mm. This is so fire. Just like melting your mouth. Also, I wanted to show you guys something. So I saw a couple of comments in my last video and you guys were saying like, there's no way PETA is having dinner right now. It's still daylight outside. There's still sun, like there's just no way. I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I live in Austin, Texas. And ever since they changed the time here where I live, it doesn't get dark till 8 p.m. And then as we get closer to summer, it doesn't start getting dark till like 8.30, 8.45, almost 9 p.m. And I typically always have dinner between 6 to 7 p.m. Right now it's 6.14. So that's why whenever I'm filming like these videos and I'm having dinner, there's still daylight outside because it doesn't get dark till like super late during the day. So yeah, just wanted to answer that very quickly for you guys. And right now we're going to be having the strawberry shortcake. Yo, this ice cream bar right here is the best thing ever. I need to find another word besides good delicious and that's it i always say it's so good it's so delicious it's so fire what's another word that i can say instead of those three words let me know in the comments down below because i feel like i just keep repeating myself so many times mm. Mm -hmm. there was a food court nearby and i was so tempted to go into that food court and get something to eat because I'm hungry. Now I'm going to try these, what are these? Twin beef sticks, oh they're beef sticks, oh beef. Okay, this is probably gonna get me pretty full or like semi full compared to like the other things that I'm eating. I don't know man, it looks a little sus. Why is it flat on this side? But let's give it a try. It really tastes like beef jerky, like I wouldn't be able to tell a difference between beef sticks and beef jerky. Wait, is it the same thing or is it different? 
I'm gonna rate these a 9 out of 10. I can definitely see myself snacking on these. I also got some corn nuts. These are the ranch flavor. The first time that I had corn nuts, I was probably, I think, in high school. So it hasn't been that long. But I had never tried corn nuts before that in my entire life. Those are the corn nuts. And the ranch flavor, in my opinion, are the best ones. I haven't tried any other flavors because I'm always scared that I'm not going to like them. But if you know of a good flavor of corn nuts, let me know so I can try a new one. Now I'm gonna try the Munchies peanut butter crackers. I can't remember when was the last time that I ate one of these with peanut butter. Usually I buy these, but I get the ones with cheese, never peanut butter. They're all right, they're not the best ones, but right now your girl is hungry, so I am not being picky whatsoever. Ooh, I love peanut butter but it definitely makes you super thirsty overall i'm going to rate dinner a 7 out of 10. i feel like the best one that i had today was definitely lunch because we had so many options there was frozen food there was chips there was gourmet coffee there was a lot of things but i did have a lot of fun filming this video because for a hot minute like i almost forgot like that vending machines existed so it was a really fun video to film and also going on low-key like a scavenger hunt trying to find vending machines around the city so i had so much fun filming today's video i really hope that you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can get notified every single time that i post a new video let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite vending machine snack and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys yeah 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 Ay, coming in yeah flex i just wanna win yeah la bb who we running with